Good morning, my name is Maureen Chung. Welcome to Daily Devotional of December the 7th. The Bible passage is Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 8 to chapter 6, verse 2. The title is, Riches are Meaningless. Originally, the passage on riches are meaningless should cover chapter 5, verse 8 to chapter 6, verse 12, but it is a long passage. Hence, I shall focus on chapter 5, verse 8 to only chapter 6, verse 2, with a brief mention of the latter part of chapter 6. Let's read from Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 8 and following. If you see the poor oppressed in a district and justice and rights denied, do not be surprised at such things, for one official is eyed by a higher one, and over them both are high, others higher still. The increase from the land is taken by all. The king himself profits from the fields. Whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. As goods increase, so do those who consume them. And what benefit are they to the owners except to feast their eyes on them? The sleep of a laborer is sweet, whether they eat little or much, but as for the rich, their abundance permits them no sleep. I have seen a grievous evil under the sun, wealth hoarded to the harm of its owners, or wealth lost through some misfortune, so that when they have children, there is nothing left for them to inherit. Everyone comes naked from their mother's womb, and as everyone comes, so they depart. They take nothing from their toil that they can carry in their hands. This too is a grievous evil, as everyone comes, so they depart. And what do they gain, since they toil for the wind? All their days they sat in darkness with great frustration, affliction, and anger. This is what I have observed to be good, that it is appropriate for a person to eat, to drink, and to find satisfaction in their toilsome labor under the sun during the few days of life God has given them, for this is their lot. Moreover, when God gives someone wealth and possessions and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot and be happy in their toil, this is a gift of God. They seldom reflect on the days of their life because God keeps them occupied with gladness of heart. I have seen another evil under the sun, and it weighs heavily on mankind. God gives some people wealth, possessions, and honor, so that they lack nothing their hearts desire, but God does not grant them the ability to enjoy them, and strangers enjoy them instead. This is meaningless, a grievous evil. While riches are a universal desire of mankind. Today, we've come to the last of the six passages on meaninglessness. Riches are meaningless. We shall consider five main points today. A. Riches from oppression and greed, chapter 5, verse 8 to 12. B. Riches lost is a grievous evil, chapter 5, verse 13 to 15. C. Riches from toil without God is a grievous evil. Chapter 5, verse 16 to 20. D. Riches left to a stranger is another evil. Chapter 6, verse 1 to 2. And then E. Conclusion. The limits of man. Chapter 6, verse 3 to 12. A. Riches from op oppression and greed. Chapter 5, verse 8 to 12. This section begins with the mention of the poor and oppressed living in a feudal state of paternalistic fiefdom. If justice and rights are denied, do not be surprised. Justice refers to the judicial administration like the court of law. Rights refer to the public's conformity to laws. Whether it is official or social, there is no social justice in the land and there is no advocate for the oppressed poor. Why is that? Each level of official is taking advantage of the level be before, below. 
the lowest level of official is oppressing the peasants, the second level of official is oppressing the first, all the way up the chain of command to the king who profits the most, either by bribery or extortion, with the ascending scale of power, there is an ascending scale of oppression. They have forgotten that the Lord God is the Most High. Verse, verse 10 succinctly says, Whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. Corruption of government or business is motivated by greed. One notorious example is the wealth of the Marcos family of the Philippines, started with the presidency of Ferdinand Marcos from 1965 to 1986. But commendation goes to Bill and Melinda Gates of Microsoft fame, who founded the private charitable Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in year 2000 to fund healthcare, education, and fighting poverty all over the world. By 2019, the foundation's endowment had reached $49.8 billion US. However, the richer one is, the more mouths he has to feed. Verse 11 puts it in a satirical way. As goods increase, so do those who consume them. And what benefit are they to the owners except to feast their eyes on them? There are more adherents to the family estate or business as it grows. What is the use of luxury or opulence except to feast his eyes on them? In 1 John 2 verse 16 we read, For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father but from the world. Riches can be such a distraction from the love of the Father or the fear of the Lord. No wonder, Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew chapter 6, verse 21. Solomon the teacher reminds us that the laborer or slave sleeps sweetly whether he eats a little or much because he is tired from the work of the day. But and the anxiety of the rich man keeps him awake at night. The quality of life has to be viewed with the quality of sleep also. B. Riches lost is a grievous evil. Chapter 5, verse 13 to 15. Solomon calls riches lost a grievous evil in the sense that it is hurtful and severe. Wealth hoarded can lead to wealth lost so that there is nothing left for his son. Again, greed leads to risky investments. In November 2022, the cryptocurrency exchange FTX filed for bankruptcy. It is based in the Bahamas and was run by Sam Bankman Fried. It enables customers to trade in digital currencies like, like Bitcoin for other digital currencies or traditional money and vice versa. Lawyers confirmed that a large amount of the assets had been missing or stolen. The Ontario Teachers Pension Plan has unfortunately invested in FTX and is now writing off its entire investment in the amount of US dollars 95 million as total loss. This puts a large dent into the pensions of the Ontario teachers. Verse 15a is an echo of Job's words from Job 1.22. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. However, the teacher of Ecclesiastes sees riches lost as something regrettable without a shadow of praise to the Lord. C. Riches from toil without God is a grievous evil. Chapter 5, verse 16 to 20. The teacher of Ecclesiastes, Solomon, now turns to another grievous evil, riches from toil without God. A hard worker toils for the wind which ends in failure when he eats what he earns in the darkness of a faithless life. He eats, but there's no joy in eating because he's filled with frustration, grief, affliction, sorrow, anger, and wrath. He works some more and he eats some more. This is a useless cycle of repetition. But Solomon remembers the joy in the process of working regardless of the outcome. Afterwards, he eats and drinks with contentment. This is a gift of God. This sentiment originates in Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 
24 to 25, in the passage of toil is meaningless, and is repeated in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 12 to 13. Now we can see this thought solidifying in Solomon's mind. From practice and experience, he knows that God keeps him occupied with gladness and the joy of creativity helps him to forget past disappointments. Yes, the enjoyment of work is a gift of God, not a right. For this, we too give thanks. D. Riches left to a stranger is another evil, chapter 6, 1 to 2. Solomon brings up another evil. Contrasting the above, where God gives a man wealth and possessions and enables him to enjoy his work, with here, God gives a man wealth, possessions, and honor, but does not enable him to enjoy them. Rather, a stranger enjoys them instead. The thought of leading his riches to a stranger is tormenting. Is there a resolution? All Solomon can reason is that obtaining is better than merely desiring. Present gain is better than future dreams. This is probably his meaning in verse 9. Better what the eyes sees, present gain, than the roving of the appetite, future dreams. This too is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. If there is no life after death, if all we can hope for is the here and now, then life is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. E. Conclusion. Limits of Man. Chapter 6, verse 3 to 12. Having considered riches from oppression and greed, riches lost, riches from toil without God, and riches left to a stranger, Solomon concludes with a lament on human limitations. For us, we are limited in creativity, as there is nothing new under the sun. We are limited in strength, for we cannot contend with God. Moreover, we are limited in wisdom, since our words lack meaning. We are limited in knowledge because our lives are short and we cannot predict the future. Verse 12. Life without God is meaningless. The solution goes back to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Follow our heart's desire for the eternal God. Live in holy reverence. That is what we can do with our human limitations. Just trust that he will continue to make everything beautiful in its time. With God, everything is possible. We can find true meaning in life when he is at our center. Let's pray. Dear God, bless us, we pray. As we enthrone you in the center of our lives, you are the meaning and the purpose of our existence. Thank you, our Creator, our Savior, and our Lord. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I hope you can see that riches is meaningless. Earthly riches, that is. May God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.